when we looked at calculating engine displacement, we first of all calculated the displacement of one cylinder, then multiplied by the number of cylinders. We're going to go through an example with some explanation. First of all, exactly what do we mean by displacement? Well, here I've drawn a four-cylinder engine. I know it's an artist's rendition. It's not necessarily accurate. And in red, I've sort of highlighted when the piston goes up and down, how much air does it displace? So it doesn't include this piece, because that doesn't get displaced. Just this volume here, where the piston moves up and down. So in each engine, we displace or push that much air in each piston, or each cylinder, sorry. Multiply it by four, and we get the value. But how do we calculate that? Well, back to our high school math. Here I've drawn a cylinder. It could be any cylinder. It could be a toilet paper roll. It could be whatever. It's a cylinder. It's round. It's got a radius. It's got a height. Remember back in high school, the area of the base here is pi r squared, r being the radius of the circle. Get the volume of the cylinder, we need that area to multiply it by the height. So get the volume of the cylinder, it's pi r squared times the height. Now in the case of our piston and cylinder, the bore of the piston is the diameter of that cylinder. But we don't want the diameter, we need the radius. The radius is half the diameter. So radius is a bore divided by two. And the height, well, that's the distance that the piston travels. That's the stroke. So we want to use this formula, pi r squared times height. We'll actually use pi times half the value of bore squared times the stroke distance. So, looking at an example that we did in class, calculate the engine displacement of a four-cylinder engine with a four-inch bore and a three-and-a-half-inch stroke. Well, the formula for one cylinder is pi r squared times the height, where r is the four-inch bore and n divided by two. And the height is three-and-a-half inches, the length of the stroke. Here's where people make mistakes. I've seen in the past people take pi, multiply it by two, then square all of that. That doesn't suit bed maps. We do exponents before we do multiplication. So we take the two inches, we square it, that gives us four square inches, then we multiply by pi, multiply by three and a half, that gives us 43.98 cubic inches. We'll round that to 44 just to make the rest of the math easier. So that's one cylinder. But there's four cylinders, so we take that one cylinder value, 44 cubic inches, multiply by four for the four cylinders, gives me 176 cubic inches. There's a lot there, Walk through it a couple times, get used to the idea of finding r is half the bore, make sure you square the number before you multiply.